let's see. So, yeah, as you can see, we've got some um, questions here. The first one is a bar graph question. The second is mm, free form. And then we've got any anything else you'd like to ask while we're getting started. But there was one question from yesterday about how we actually use Git, like how, like not the basic mechanics, but how we do things ourselves or, you know, how it actually works in our projects. So maybe yeah. I'll start by telling the stories of my slow usage of version control more and more, if y'all like that idea. Yes, and before you start, I can mention that we will talk briefly about this as well in at the very end. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll just uh, start right. now and then uh, finish it off uh, as well. Yeah. Finish off with this as well. I see a question already there. Will we receive a certificate at the end of the workshop? The workshop webpage has a certificates page that describes that. So basically, if you can show some work from this and is this your the learning diary kind of thing also but anyway there's something there there's an email address to send your report to and then you can get something and i think that's for everyone but yes it's it. for everyone okay good but uh, i've pasted the link so read more there yeah. and then if anything is unclear right uh, right again in the second in the collaborative document yeah so anyway um yeah so when i was an undergraduate i started doing some semi computational kind of research and i had a friend who was this, this friend definitely knew a bit more about programming and doing the computer stuff than I did. So they suggested to me, okay, so can you like use version control? And I think that was probably even before Git existed. When was Git first made? Would someone look that up? But anyway, so the friend recommended a version control system called Darks, which I actually still rather like, but well, common is more important than um, technical quality, I guess. So yeah, I mean, but I started using this for my own project. So I didn't have like lots of people working on things. It's basically just my own code. And each day I would make a commit or two to record what I'd done. And that kept me organized. And that was basically, you know, even now most of my projects are just for myself, not really shared, tracking some stuff because it's easier to track it than not track it. Um, let's see. Mm. Okay, yeah, so I guess this was definitely right before get started development. Let's see. But you know, I wouldn't sort of tell people, oh, you should use this, but it was always really hard to get anyone to care or take the time to invest in it, which was always sort of annoying to me. Um, but yeah, like there'd be some small projects where two people would work. I mean, most of the time it was me writing something and them pulling the code to use it themselves. During my PhD studies, I was basically only doing solitary things. Actually, towards the end, we thought, oh, let's try to work together on this thing and share some code, but it never really happened. Uh, this was also before the days of GitHub. Well, I didn't even sign up for GitHub myself until relatively late. I would use my own computers, like other SSH servers as things as the repository and the backup copy. Um, let's see. Yeah, so once I started doing 
postdoc work, I, you know, again, tried working with people to do bigger projects together. But again, there's this sort of problem that everyone's so busy with other things. And in this case, even though people wanted to learn things, it didn't go very well. Um, we started strong, but then split up into different pieces. Um, but I've always considered myself, like, I've enjoyed looking at these tools and kinds of things and learning how to do things and studying it and so on. I mean, I guess it's not a big surprise that I'm here, there, then. But I certainly don't think that everyone needs to like it or want to study it a lot. Um, but it's okay to have a lot of people sort of using it in the basic way, but then you have someone around that you can refer to if you need to. And that's the most important thing. So working as a team and specializing and so on. Uh, number of main files created for a given project. Yeah, does that mean number of source? Well, I mean, whatever is needed for the project. So the bigger the project, the... So actually in the last day, there's a lesson called modular code development that sort of talks about splitting stuff up into different files and when it makes sense. Maybe that would be a good thing to raise again there. Um, there's a question, how do I reopen the same work yesterday in Git Bash? Um, ah, that's already answered there. So yeah, so just in the, um, what's it called? In the command line, there's this concept of directory you're in, current working directory. And when you change to that directory, that's sort of the home base for all the other commands and all the file paths are relative to there. So normally what I would do is for each project, I have one directory and that's where I'll change before doing work and everything's relative there. Uh, the number, question number five, I guess this is in Twitch. So make the screen larger so if the screen is too narrow, then the chat can't be closed. But if you make it larger, then the chat can be hidden and then the window can be made closed. Something like that. Mm. Sophia Tremont, yes. Okay. Yeah. Tremont was too small, but yeah, from signature. Okay. But the reader, should I say some? Just a few words yeah. about my experience with Git. Yeah, please do. Would that be okay? So, uh, so uh, <clears throat> when I had uh, started my PhD, then um, I was so I was uh, working in a group where we were developing a code and using a code. So I mean, we had different levels of um, among our people working. So some were mostly users, some were heavy developers, and some were something in between. But anyway, we had uh, we were working with the code, which was actually uh, version controlled using SVN. Uh, but then Some we decided, version. okay, yeah. So we decided, okay, we need to um, move the remote somewhere else. So uh, so uh, we we wanted to move uh, move it to a different server. So we decided at that point that actually GitHub is uh, the right place to have it on. Mm -hmm. So we we've moved everything there and then uh, then uh, we started uh, teaching everyone or most of people in the group on how to use git uh, relatively basic because i think you can do so much just uh, with basic commands and then uh, and then people uh, started learning more and more on their own depending on their interest and then uh, yeah i think uh, well you can take it as fast as you need to uh, because I think, well, as a researcher, it's, it's important to realize that uh, you are not really paid for for developing, and if you are, uh, then you are in a in a very happy situation. Mm. 
but usually that is not the case. So I mean, resources that people dedicate to development is limited. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, but I think uh, it sounds like yes, you just had... starting slow and uh, and uh, extending. That's uh, that that would be my mm -hmm. advice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds like you had, uh, like you learned a lot. How would you say more? Well, your experience seemed a lot different than mine because you were working with these other people and so on. Well, yeah, it, it was a it was collaborative sort of uh, project from the very light. beginning. Yeah, and then I mean, of course, later on, then uh, then other projects showed up, and uh, yeah, the number of repos <laughs> only yeah. have just increased. <laughs> but um, but yeah, but that was the, at least the the, um, the reason yeah. why we had started using GitHub in the very first place. Yeah. Okay, so it is now past the hour. Should we begin then? So uh, we have a couple of minutes. If Bjorn, if you would like to share your experience, the schedule says we start at 10 past, but um, with the oh. actual lesson. Okay. Well, I, I was uh, working in the industry and, uh, and there we, we didn't use uh, any uh, any uh, version control, but uh, had the file, file, used the file system as as branches, so uh, things were copied into these different branches or different um, uh, different uh, file sy file systems. And uh, and there were people that had the responsibility uh, with write permissions to the file systems that were kind of checking persons. Mm -hmm. So th this was so checking in uh, large chunks of code was rather cumbersome. Then people get uh, really frustrated uh, at their code developers mm -hmm. because uh, things were were not thoroughly tested. Well, which uh, was obvious when you then try to merge uh, different branches. Yeah, we actually want to ask you. So, how uh, what was the merging done? Because I assume I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that, that was uh, heavy. We Vim uh, acrobatic <laughs> <laughs> style. So, um, so, uh, so it was kind of very obvious that uh, there was a need for for uh, our version control system. Yes, something smarter yeah. than humans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something smarter than humans, yes, right. So so that's, uh, um, I quitted that job after a while, while they still didn't have a, so, so any version control system, but it has kept me motivated <laughs> for using Version control system. Were you the been... first? Yeah, were you the person supposed to merge everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I was lucky enough to not play that in that position. Yeah. Uh, yes, academia can be less uh, stressful sometimes. It has yeah. pros and cons. Mm -hmm. oh, but nice. Yeah. Oh. Uh... There's one question, is the sound working in Twitch? I guess there'd be more people commenting if it didn't work, right? Uh, I think there was a statement that it, that it was all right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's some good questions here that we'll be answering, but I guess we can go on. Are we? Yes, Ready. yes, then I am going to share a screen. Okay. And then uh, just as yesterday, keep your questions coming in the collaborative document. If we cannot answer them live, uh, we have many, many people actually sitting and answering uh, these uh, hundreds of questions. So I am very grateful for them. So, um, uh, I have to answer just this question 11. So you can use, for example, tree. 
uh, to see the folder structure. Um, and I'm not sure if you mean the hidden uh, hidden git uh, um, uh, directory, but you can also use tree for that. It's a very nice way of uh, visualizing uh, your uh, uh, directory and the subdirectories. I hope that answered it. Maybe someone can type it in. So uh, let's uh, go to the lesson.